Alright guys, what is up? I'm going to tell you today how to fix insane lag and frame drops in OBS. Okay, I'm going to keep this video nice, short and sweet. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point, okay? I've um, been getting insane, insane um, sort of frame drops and stuff lately in OBS. Um, can't actually show you an example because unfortunately um, Twitch only keeps the uh, VODs for 30 days I think. And then it's 60 days if you have Turbo, um, Twitch Turbo, which I don't have anymore. Um, so I can't fortunately show you what it used to look like, um, but I can show you what it's sort of looking like now. Um, so I'm not streaming 1080p or anything like that. I'm sort of I'm still streaming 720p, um, but you can see that you know it's uh, well okay. This one's a bit. This one's not the best example, but um, generally any lag is probably the game. Um, it's not really the stream anymore. Um, but it used to be a lot laggier than this. Um, and yeah, again, my PC's not the best, so again, it might not be the best um, stream quality and stuff. But generally, there's no lag, um, especially what it's compared to before. Um, and so my friends' streams that I've been watching, um, you know, they've just been getting insane lag. Um, yeah, it's not been great. So, how you fix this? I'm going to show you now. First of all, I switched from Streamlabs OBS. Right, I have a different um, idea. Oops. All right. Let me just make sure I pause the One streams. Sec. One sec. We've got a stream open there. Um, so first thing I did to fix this was switch from Streamlabs OBS to a regular OBS. Okay, so that's the first important thing. Um, you can still use Streamlabs OBS um, if you've got a good computer, I think. But because my computer is not the best, um, switching to you know regular OBS was the best thing for me. Um, essentially, because it's just a stripped down version of Streamlabs OBS. Um, Streamlabs OBS is a bit nicer to look at, and it, and you know the features look a bit easier to use. But in terms of functionality, OBS always has the latest functionality. Um, yeah, okay, I use Streamlabs Alert Box, so you know using um, using you know regular OBS a bit more pain in the backside because you have to um, add a browser source, whereas you can natively do it inside um, inside Streamlabs OBS using an option. Um, but it, again, it's not that much of an issue and it has this nice integration now actually as well So it's got all my twitch information here and it also has the chat here as well Even though the chat box is ridiculously small, but I think you can you, know, you can make that big if you need to um, So yeah, they've sort of added this integration um, You can make it dark and stuff as well like I have um, Definitely do not use the light theme. I will, I will advocate strongly against that um, So yes, yeah, so the, the major fix for me was going into settings and um, going straight into, I think it's output, yes, output. And then you go into streaming, okay? So you've got two tabs here, you've got the, uh, I think it used to all be one, um, <clears throat> but now they've broken it down to different sort of um, settings for different ones, even though you're, one thing I noticed is you still have to, um, if you're recording YouTube videos like I am right now, you have to remember to change your um, stream resolution back up if you wanna um, record in the best YouTube quality. But obviously I wouldn't stream in 1440p, 16, 60 hertz. Um, that would be ridiculous. So there's still um, one combined setting, but separate settings now for recording and streaming. So if you go into streaming, you go to encoder and you want to select NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. Okay. Um, to me, this was the biggest fix. Um, and essentially how it works uh, from my very basic understanding is that I think the default setting it's on, I can't show you which one it's on because um, I'm recording so you can't change it when you're recording. But the default setting it's on essentially prioritizes the game. So essentially it shoves all of your CPU resource um, to rendering the game and your game's rendering, you know, max FPS, you know, it's trying to it's trying to really give you the best FPS it can, but then it's leaving zero resource for um, OBS. So OBS doesn't need tons of resource, but it's still fairly resource intensive. Um, and obviously if you're giving all the resource to the game, you get maximum frames or your best quality game, but you've got no resource for the encoder, um, then essentially what you're uploading to Twitch is just gonna be a laggy a laggy mess because you know, you've not given it any sort of CPU resource to play with. Um, it needs a bit to play with. Um, so doing this essentially, um, I believe it lets all the encoding be, uh, <coughs> to be done on your CPU. Now it's a better balance because you've got some of the uh, encoding being done on your um, on your sorry some of the encoding is being done on the game and some of it's being done on OBS and it's a lot better and a best and a good way to diagnose this is if you go into in, into a task manager um, when you're streaming then you'll often find that um, CPU will just be 100 percent 
um, you'll be maxed out and you'll sort of be bottlenecking um, your PC. Um, yeah, streaming is very intensive, so it will always be high when you're streaming. But if it's 100%, um, yeah, you're just going to get um, insane, insane lag when you're streaming frame drops. And uh, to anyone watching that, it's just, yeah, it's not going to look great. Um, trying to give you an example. I think my friend's gone flat at the moment. Yeah, so I'll show you this one. So this is what my friend was uh, just streaming, streaming there. Um, don't want to, don't want to throw him under the bus here, but this is essentially what mine was looking at. <laughs> so let's go for the game. Uh, yeah, so it looks like this, and uh, this is essentially what mine was looking at, looking like. Um, yeah, it's just unwatchable, really. Um, it's like more of like a presentation, to be honest. Um, you're getting all these stutters, um, you know, and it's because your CPU is trying really, really hard to keep up, but it just can't. Um, so yeah, good way to fix that. Um, make sure you change that. Um, again, you can follow the YouTube videos that are. There's plenty of them out there for the settings. Um, I'll just quickly run through what I've got. I think all this is default, apart from things like dark, stream, uh, switch, okay. Um, stream settings, so I'm going for 4500 bitrate, CBR, uh, quality high. Um, very, again, no point me really showing you these because they very much depend on your PC and your setup and what you've got. Um, better PCs will be, a lot, will be able to be a lot higher. My PC is like quite old, I think it's like four or five years old. Um, and essentially, um, yeah, all the PCs, you know, you might be looking to bring some of these back a bit, but, you know, just have a play around. Uh, audio, didn't really touch audio. Video is the biggest one, so I usually stream 720, 30. Um, 720, 60 is a popular one. 1080, 30 or 1080, 60, you know, you're kind of, that's starting to get to the point where you need a good PC, um, and you need a good bit rate. Um, and again, yeah, 4500 bit rate is what I'm on currently. Um, if you've got lower quality or worse internet, you can bring that down. Um, and if you're looking to stream 1080 and uh, 30 or 60 FPS, you might want to potentially bring that up. But you're getting nearer to the cap. I think the cap is 6,000. Um, so 4,500 is a good middle ground. Anything more than I think about 6,000 and Twitch starts to reject that. Um, so yeah, you don't want to stream too high. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to make a quick video. Unfortunately, it's gone on a bit longer than I wanted, seven minutes 30. But hopefully that fixes any sort of lag. Um, if it doesn't, just pop a comment in the uh, in the comments below, and uh, we'll see if we can sort of help out uh, any more. But that, to be honest, just those two little things that I've suggested there should be able to help. Um, and yeah, that's all it is. Well, that's all there is to it, really. Um, hopefully that sorts out for you guys. Um, I know for me it was sort of a lot of banging my head against the wall for a, for a long time. I was like, you know, I literally can't stream. You know, um, my PC was bad, but it wasn't that bad. So I was like, this is insane, I can't even stream. So now it's got to the point where you know I, c I can stream again, so it's a lot better. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if it did, uh, please leave a thumbs up and you know leave a comment, let me know it helped. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And also, if I helped, please, um, please consider leaving a follow on my Twitch channel as well. I would really appreciate it, and uh, that would definitely help out. So, Thank you very much. Uh, all my details are in the, in the description below, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Thank you very much.